<clears throat> so at Triple H, um, what do you, what are your thoughts and opinions about that um, recent podcast with CM Punk and, um, talking to his friend Colt Cabana in that podcast about WWE and um, why he left and stuff, um, uh, particularly in regards to Ryback? Um, well, well, let's see, first off, CM Punk, he criticized Ryback, saying that Ryback is very dangerous to work with, and later, um, McMahon, Vince McMahon wanted CM Punk to do a feud and work with Ryback, and he wanted him to do a match with him. And then CM Punk didn't want to do it, and then he decided to do it. And he went up. To, he said that he went up to Ryback and said, "Come on, man, we're gonna we're gonna do this thing. Come on, let's uh, we're gonna kill it. Let's do this." And then CM Punk said that in the match. Ryback kicked CM Punk and broke his ribs and then in the back CM Punk told him you're either you either did that on purpose or you're stupid as whatever I don't know F word or something and then and then Ryback and then supposed um in CM Punk this is his words he said that Ryback told him um, dumbass effort, yeah. And then, uh, in this, uh, Ryback responded to that by posting on Twitter that what CM Punk said didn't, wasn't true, and it made him look, it made CM Punk look insecure by lying about stuff, by making stuff up. And in this interview, some other interview recently, Ryback was responding to the CM Punk comments and said that, um, you know, he understood why CM Punk did it, why he left and stuff, but um, uh, he's not going to, like, bash CM Punk or anything about the comments he made about him because it's not going to do good or, for anyone, um, and that he wishes best of luck to punk and hopefully he comes back um but yeah either cm punk is lying about ryback being dangerous in the ring with him and really kicked him either cm punk's lying or he exaggerated what really happened like like maybe ryback did really did do something like he really did hurt him bills an accident um, but maybe it wasn't kicking him in the ribs, maybe it was something else. But either way, CM Punk's either lying or exaggerating. And with Ryback, uh, he's either, uh, he either really, he either did it and he's lying at CM Punk, he's lying about CM Punk lying, or it really did happen and Ryback just forgot. Or CM Punk exaggerated the story too much to where Ryback can't recall any story that's exactly the same as the exaggerated story. Um, but in the interview, Ryback did say that if he was really dangerous, as dangerous as CM Punk said he was, then why would he have Ryback working in the ring with guys like John Cena and Dolph Ziggler? And I think right back at what he says it makes sense. You know, why would do he let him work with those guys? But I mean, this is 2014. If that's if that's what he's referring to, I mean, he must be improved by now. What CM Punk is talking about is at least 2012. And that's when Ryback was still dangerous to work with, I believe. Yeah.